Congratulations for you. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys have seen by the title of today's video, I will be doing a Q&A because I wanted you guys to ask me some questions for today's video because I feel as if lately my life has changed probably like over the past few months or so. Like, a good few things have, have happened, I've moved on to better things in my life and I was wanting to ask you guys some questions to answer in today's video. So. I've actually made a list on the notes on my phone and I think I do have around 12 questions I will be answering in today's video. Also, please excuse how bald I look. I do not have any false eyelashes on. Like, oh my god, am I feeling okay? I actually have an eye test later on so I didn't really want to be wearing false eyelashes for like the trying on glasses and like my eye test and stuff because it just getting in the way and it just be too much faff. So, you're just going to have to excuse the really bald eye look today but I'm embracing the natural eyelashes I need to have a breather from false ones don't they so yeah. yeah but before we get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up it will be nice to get to 30 likes and also leave a comment if you are enjoying the video so far or if you're even early on this video and also please make sure to subscribe because we are nearly at 4,000 subscribers we're nearly there guys so thank you very much for subscribing it really means the world. But without further ado, let's get on the video. First question is, how are you feeling in general? But to be honest, I'm feeling okay. Like, I feel pretty happy to be honest at the minute. Like, I've recently got a new job as well, so um, I'm kind of still a bit, like, up in the air a little bit. In a good way, obviously. You're like, I feel as if everything is starting to look up and it's a bit more positive and I will be finishing college very soon as well so I feel as if I'm finally getting somewhere with my life I'll be finishing my education in probably three weeks probably if that may be but yeah so I'm feeling very good I'm still with Scott we're still very happy together yeah I just feel overall pretty good to be honest so yeah I'm always feeling pretty positive but to be honest I've always been the type of person to never really struggle with like mental health issues really like I've always really been a positive person like in my head and I think it's because I always I never really hold on to things and stuff and like I always kind of like you know, forget about the negative things and try to think of positives and everything and I think that is why I'm always like a pretty positive person and I will have days where I am in a big mood and to be honest, this morning I was in the mood with Scott over the phone, but yeah, that was just like my hormones and stuff because, like, yeah, I've started my period and stuff, you know, the girl problems, who else can relate? But overall, I am a pretty positive person, so yeah, I'm feeling good. The next question is How often do you see Scott each week? Um, since lockdown. I used to go to his from a Thursday to Sunday and I used to stay for those four days but because everything's opened up again now I'll probably see him three times a week so usually on a Monday after college and usually either like a Wednesday or Thursday and then usually a Sunday near the weekend. You kind of work around college and our jobs and stuff because Scott does have two jobs, he does the cakes and then he also works for like a mental health charity kind of thing and obviously I I still go to college and I'm also working as well so yeah we've tried to work around it but we do see each other plenty each week I think and um, the three days a week is pretty good considering we do kind of have busyish lives obviously with me going to college I'm not always in full days anyway so like I can usually get finished early and see him after college and stuff but yeah if you usually do you manage to see it quite a, we do usually manage to see each other quite a lot every week and I really like that. It's really nice to spend quality time with him and stuff. The next question is which coil did you get and what the side effects have you got with it? So I got the I'm not sure I'm not actually sure what it's called but it's a non hormonal coil, the smaller one. It could possibly co it could possibly be called the marina coil but anyway I got the non hormonal one which has copper in it and I got the mini one because like I'm a small person and like when I got it fitted like it did hurt a little bit yeah that was just because 
in my cervix is posterior so I had to use a, like a longer tube to put it in with and it did hurt for me but um, like after like I had it fitted I did go really dizzy probably for around half an hour and then probably almost like a couple of weeks after the fitting I did have like really 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 bad pains and kind of cramping pains but after that I've not really suffered with any major side effects I have noticed how my skin has been breaking out a bit more than usual but I did buy some new skincare and it has kind of been helping it heal up a bit but apart from that I've not really had any bad side effects but if any women out there are thinking about going on the copper coil I recommend it because it's pretty much pain free after the first few weeks and some people won't even be able to feel pain possibly because they've had children before and stuff and obviously yeah, that'll be a lot more painful so you'd be used to the pain but yeah I would highly recommend it because it is non-hormonal as well and I was and before the coil I was actually on the pill and oh my god it it drove me crazy like I literally yeah it just yeah if you are someone who is suffering really bad on the pill or the implant as well it definitely you speak to your nurse or doctor and talk about going on the copper coil because it has changed my life for the better honestly if you could go anywhere in the world where would you go I'll probably have to say Greece because it looks absolutely stunning over there I love the food and Mamma Mia was filmed over there as well which is another excuse to go because I love Mamma Mia probably one of my, probably one of my favorite films because yeah like it's just brilliant um, and it's obviously really sunny and there's a lot of beaches and pretty places to go for Instagram and stuff you know I'm talking as if I'm like some sort of Instagram model I'm really not but like it'll be good to get some cute photos over there um, and it would just be nice and sunny and stuff so yeah I definitely want to go to Greece and Greece is definitely up there with my bucket list to go to because I would absolutely love to go to Greece because it looks absolutely stunning the next question is what's your favourite designer piece? it probably is my most favourite designer item is my new Lady Dior handbag because it's absolutely stunning. I only really, I only, I only really take it out for special occasions, like if I'm going for a meal or if I'm going away with Scott or something, and it's absolutely stunning. I will put like a picture of what I'm going on about, but I love it so much. And I think Dior is probably one of my favourite designer brands at the moment as well. But yeah, I absolutely. I'm obsessed with my Lady Dior handbag and oh my god the colour is just unbelievable, it's so pretty. What are you doing after college? I think after college I will be going full time, I'm thinking anyway. If you guys if you guys don't actually know, I do have a new job. I'm working for a supermarket. I'm not going to say where, just in case like if something, if something happens or like it gets exposed or something. Like, I don't really know. Anything can happen over social media, you know. So yeah. I'm working for a supermarket and I've been working there when I'm filming this for five weeks and I'm still really enjoying it. It's very early starts but it's good money and it's a lot and it's a lot better compared to when I was working at the pub as well. Um so yeah, I'm pretty enjoying it and it's giving me money, you know, I'm working hard over there. Um but I'm also thinking of taking some appointments like for makeup appointments and and waxing and stuff so I may be thinking I could work four days at the supermarket and then one day doing beauty you just have to wait and see do you see YouTube being a career? I think so like at the minute I am earning a little bit of money not a lot of money but I'm earning a decent amount for it being a hobby I suppose I do see YouTube as a hobby just because it's not like I won't be able to live off I won't be able to live off my YouTube the wage because I also have, I have to put petrol in my car I pay for my own stuff and food and stuff you know but yeah um, it would be nice for YouTube to be a career I do try to put the hard work in the YouTube can be very hard especially to get noticed on there and I feel as if you've definitely got to make like different and unique videos if you to get noticed it would be nice to see youtube be a career for me maybe in a year or so i'm hoping but for now it's just a hobby i think i actually love youtube more every time i film like definitely from five years ago when i started i've never thought 
I won't be able to make any money off my YouTube channel. So it's progress, you know, and I do have a little circle of subscribers who are always really supportive of me and like my message on Instagram and stuff and like who they reply to my stories so it's really lovely. If you are one of those guys, hello, I love you all. Yeah, and if you ever want to give me a message on my Instagram it's alice.homes underscore and I try to reply to as many people as I can so yeah. Favourite baby names? Oh, you should have really said my favourite baby names. Well, I'll choose one of each. So for a girl, I always like a lot more girl names compared to boy names. Is it weird that I have like a baby names list on my phone? Because, yeah, but they're probably out of all the baby names. I think my favourite has to be Ivy. Just because like it sounds really pretty, it's really classy, like you don't you really hear a lot, of, a lot of girls being called Ivy and if I was still with Scott I would love our baby girl to be called Ivy Grace Melvin because like it's just so cute and I like the name Grace as well but that would probably be the middle name and then for a boy like I always switch between boy names but for, probably for a boy I would say Noah, Noah James because like, I like the name Noah, it's not really as common. I'd rather go for names that aren't as common because a lot of people are called like Ellie or Sophie or, or Daniel or something, you know. But obviously like, the names change over years. But yeah, Ivy and Noah are the names I'd like to go for maybe if I was fortunate to have kids in the future. Where do you see yourself in five years? Well. I just said it, like, it would be nice to maybe potentially have my own house with Scott I'm hoping and maybe it will, and maybe it will be potentially thinking about having a baby if not in maybe like a few years after we've moved in Um I have a secure full time job somewhere Um I also have like a happy healthy family as well, you know, like just the basics really, like it would be nice to have my own place by then definitely and that is my goal, to have your own place in five years time. The fingers crossed, but obviously in life it doesn't always plan out that way so you can't always expect it to just it'd be perfect, you know, but I'm hoping that I'm going to manifest it until it happens, you know, I will get that house, I will. In five years I will. But if you look at the YouTuber Amber Knight, her and her boyfriend have moved in and their house is actually stunning, I love it, so, and, and how old is she? Is she like 22 or something maybe? So yeah, like, if, if Amber can do it, I can do it. <laughs> and then final question, favourite clothing shop? Primark is up there with affordable kind of clothing shop because you can get anything in there really, like makeup bitch, you can get like tops, jeans, underwear, home stuff, it's, oh yeah, and it's, it's really affordable, but if I was to say more, like a bit more pricier, I'll probably, I'll probably say Zara because, like, it's very in trend at the minute, and I do have a few pieces. I do have a few pieces from Zara, and I love them so much. But we don't actually have a Zara in Carlisle. But I, I was thinking, if they could put, like, a half a Zara and half a Primark in Debenhams in Carlisle because he's. It is quite a big building and the Primark in Carlisle is tiny so imagine if they had like a half a Primark and half a Zara in Debenhams like oh my god it, it would be amazing it actually would be amazing so I'm gonna I'm gonna make a petition for that to actually happen and it will happen because there needs to be a Zara in Carlisle because HM's closing down as well which is actually so sad like yeah, why are all these shops closing down, like Top Shots closed down, H&M's closing down, Demon's closing down, like yeah, what's going to be next? It'll probably be New Look or something before you know it. But anyway guys, here is the end of the Q&A video. I, I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I maybe learned a little bit about me as well. If you have, make sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment down below and also subscribe to my channel as well. And I will see you all in my next video.